This is the Music History Today podcast for July 5th. On today's show, Lilith Fair starts, and there's a lot of debuts, including one by The King. First up, though, on this date in 1943, big band leader Harry James married actress Betty Grable. Coincidentally, Harry passed away on this date 40 years later. In 1954, the king of rock and roll, Elvis Presley, had his first official recording session at Sun Studios. He recorded That's All Right Mama and three other songs. In 1957, Frank Sinatra divorced actress Ava Gardner. In 1958, Ray Charles recorded his performance at the Newport Jazz Festival for a live album. In 1961, blues great Slim Harpo performed on American Bandstand, becoming one of the few times that a blues artist had performed on that show. In 1962, Little Eva performed the song Locomotion for the first time on television. In 1965, Dick Clark's TV show Where the Action Is premiered. In 1966, Bill Medley of the Righteous Brothers had vocal cord surgery. In 1966, same day, Chaz Chandler of the Animals was in the audience during a Jimi Hendrix performance in New York City. Chaz decided to become Jimi's manager based on that performance. In 1968, John Lennon sold his famous Rolls Royce with the psychedelic paint scheme. In 1969, the Rolling Stones gave a free concert in London, England, and on that same exact day, the Royal Albert Hall banned rock concerts from taking place after fans rushed the stage during a performance by Chuck Berry and The Who. In 1974, Linda Ronstadt recorded her song, You're No Good. In 1975, Pink Floyd performed songs from their album, Wish You Were Here, at the Nebworth Music Festival. In 1980, drummer Simon Kirk of Bad Company became the last guest performer to play with Led Zeppelin as the band called it quits after drummer John Bonham's death only two months later. In 1984, the Everly Brothers started their reunion tour. In 1987, Ben E. King and Elton John were among those who performed at the Princess Trust Rock Gala charity concert in London, England. In 1989, Rod Stewart accidentally knocked himself unconscious after hitting his head while performing on stage. In 1997, the first Lilith Fair tour started. The all-female tour featured Sarah McLaughlin, Paula Cole, Suzanne Vega, and Jewel. In 2003, the Lollapalooza concert tour started for the first time in six years. In 2007, Marilyn Manson was divorced by burlesque dancer Dita Von Teese. In 2014, Jessica Simpson married football player Eric Johnson. In 2015, Damon Alburn of Blur and also the Gorillas collapsed on stage right at the end of a long performance. In 2018, Stormzy partnered with Penguin Books to create the book publishing imprint Hashtag Murky Books. And in 2022, Carlos Santana collapsed on stage during a performance from Dehydration. In classical music in 1942, Heater Villalobos' piece Coros 6911 was first performed. And in 1965, opera star Maria Callas gave her final opera performance. In theater in 1947, the Broadway musical Barefoot Boy with Cheek closed. Albums that were released on July 5th include in 1958 when Ray Charles released Ray Charles in Newport. In 1965, the Beach Boys released Summer Days and Summer Nights. In 1966, the Beach Boys released The Best of the Beach Boys. In 1968, Tyrannosaurus Rex, known later in their career as T-Rex, released My People Were Fair and had Sky in Their Hair, but now they're content to wear stars on their brows. Long title. In 1968, Creedence Clearwater Revival released their self-titled album. In 1969, Cass Elliot released Bubblegum, Lemonade, and Something for Mama. In 1972, Frank Zappa released Waka Jawaka. In 1974, Brian Ferry released Another Time, Another Place. In 1976, the Beach Boys released 15 big ones. In 1983, Suicidal Tendencies released their self-titled album. In 1984, Billy Squire released Signs of Life. In 1993, U2 released Zoo Ropa. 
Also on that same exact day, 1993, Bjork released her debut solo album, Debut, after having left the group The Sugar Cubes. Also in 1993, Smog released Julius Caesar. In 1994, Cracked Rear View, the debut album from Hootie and the Blowfish, was released. It would go on to become one of the biggest selling debut albums in music history. Also in 1994, The Who released 30 Years of Maximum R&B. In 1999, The Our Tours released How I Learned to Love the Boot Boys. In 2005, the Music for Lonely Housewives compilation album came out, along with Iron Maiden's release, The Essential Iron Maiden. Singles that were released on July 5th include in 1958 when Buddy Holly released Early in the Morning. In 1960, Elvis Presley did a twofer. He released A Mess of Blues and It's Now or Never. In 1964, Jerry and the Pacemakers released How Do You Do It. In 1969, the Rolling Stones released Honky Tonk Women. In 1973, Beck, Bogart, and a Peace released Lady. In 1983, Rick James released Cold Blooded. In 1994, the Rolling Stones released Love is Strong. In 2004, the Counting Crows released Accidentally in Love from one of the Shrek movies. And in 2011, Got Ye and Kimbra released Somebody That I Used to Know. Before we go any further, we'd like to tell you that there is now a Music History In-Depth podcast where we go more in-depth on a few of the events that happen in music history for that particular week. The Music History In-Depth podcast runs every Tuesday on YouTube or wherever you get your podcast from, as does our Music Halls of Fame podcast, which talks about a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame along with other Music Halls of Fame, museums, and walks of fame. The Music Halls of Fame podcast drops every Thursday and can also be found on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts. Now, back to this podcast. Artists who were born on July 5th include Robbie Robertson of the band, Huey Lewis of Huey Lewis and the News, singer Mark Cohen, rapper The RZA from the Wu-Tang Clan, rapper Mac Dre, Bank Lagerberg from The Cardigans, Rapper Bizarre of D12, Jason Wade of Lifehouse, Singer Joe, Michael Monarch of Steppenwolf, Terry Cashman of Cashman and West, and also the Buchanan Brothers. Producer Snuff Garrett, Singer Smiley Lewis, Songwriter Mac David, K-pop singer Park Jimin, DJ Pauly D, Singer Fauzia, Singer Adam Young of Owl City, K-pop singer Sun Tung MTP, rapper Deshaun Omar, rapper Jack A, Cajun musician Charles Ventry, opera singer Isabel Poulinard, Klaus Noreen of Aqua, Mike DeWolf of Taproot, rapper Royce the 5 foot 9 inch, Shane Filan of Westlife, cello player Janos Starker, composer George Roshberg, violinist Jan Kubelik, and harpsichordist Wanda Landowska. Artists who unfortunately passed away on July 5th include composer William Jackson, who passed away in 1803 at the age of 73. Composer Johann Vigel passed away in 1852 at the age of 69. Organist Frederick Clark passed away in 1883 at the age of 42. Composer Victor Massey passed away in 1884 at the age of 62. Composer Emile Bowen passed away in 1909 at the age of 70. Composer Jaumar Borkstrom passed away in 1925 at the age of 61. Composer Oscar Fried passed away in 1941 at the age of 69. Composer William Whitaker passed away in 1944 at the age of 67. Composer Daniel Runeman passed away in 1963 at the age of 76. Pianist Wilhelm Backhaus passed away in 1969 at the age of 85. Opera singer Gilda Rizza passed away in 1975 at the age of 82. Composer Archibald Potter passed away in 1980 at the age of 61. Composer Jorge Blondel passed away in 1981 at the age of 75. Big band leader extraordinaire that I mentioned earlier, Mr. Harry James, passed away from cancer in 1983, 40 years after he got married, 
at the age of 67. Composer Vaclav Trojan passed away in 1983 at the age of 76. Jazz multi-instrumentalist Don Elliott passed away from cancer in 1984 at the age of 57. Film score composer Ernesto Haufter passed away in 1989 at the age of 84. Entertainer Georgia Brown passed away from complications from intestinal surgery in 1992 at the age of 59. Singer Mrs. Miller passed away in 1997 at the age of 89. Singer Ernie K. Doe passed away from kidney failure in 2001 at the age of 68. Composer, administrator, and teacher at the University of Southern California from 1969 to 1986, Grant Beglarian passed away in 2002 at the age of 74. Jazz saxophonist and band leader of the Olympia Brass Band, Duke Dejan passed away in 2002 at the age of 93. Singer Shirley Goodman of Shirley and Lee and also Shirley and Company passed away in 2005 at the age of 69. Jazz singer and journalist George Melly passed away in 2007 at the age of 80. The opera singer with the Metropolitan Opera from 1962 to 1987, Regine Crespin, passed away in 2007 at the age of 80. A flute player who played on the Beatles song The Fool on the Hill, Jack Ellery, passed away in 2009 at the age of 89. Composer David Fanshaw passed away from a stroke in 2010 at the age of 68. Trombonist Malcolm Forsythe passed away from pancreatic cancer in 2011 at the age of 74. Guitarist Aurelio Diaz passed away in 2016 at the age of 92. The composing pioneer of musique concrete, Pierre Henri, passed away in 2017 at the age of 89. Organist, composer, and teacher at the Hanover Hochschule für Musik und Theater from 1948 to 1991, Alfred Kirpin passed away in 2022 at the age of 95. Singer Coco Lee committed suicide in 2023 at the age of 48, and guitarist George Tickner of the group Journey from 1973 to 1975 passed away in 2023 at the age of 76. Next on the Music History Today podcast, it is July 6th, when in 1957, John Lennon met Paul McCartney. <laughs> 